This past week, I had a very emotional conversation with a patient. She's in her late 30s. She's otherwise very, very healthy, actually doesn't take any medicines, and recently diagnosed with relapsing MS. And she is really struggling with the idea of taking a disease-modifying therapy. And she is really struggling with the idea of taking a disease-modifying therapy. It's creating a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety. And she shared the stress and anxiety with me. She said, look, I, I feel fine. I feel healthy. I'm exercising. I'm eating well. I don't take any medicines. And I'm terrified of the side effects of these medicines. And they sound a lot worse than the way that I feel right now. And I, I just really struggle with the idea of taking this medicine long term. I had to explain to her that MS medicines are not intended to make you feel better in the now. They're not intended to help you in the present moment. They're really intended to help protect you long term. And so I shared with her several analogies and I thought it would be worthwhile to share them with you right now. The, all the analogies are intended to help you think about the long term view, uh, what we're trying to do with these disease modifying therapies. Number one, an MS disease modifying therapy is a lot like a seatbelt. So think about this. I could ask you, how many times have you been in a car accident? And hopefully you tell me none or maybe one or two times. Maybe you've been in a couple car accidents. Then I can ask you, well, how many times do you wear your seatbelt? And you'll say, always. I always wear my seatbelt. So I might turn around and say, well, that doesn't make any sense. You only need to wear your seatbelt the three times you got in an accident. Why are you bothering with putting on the seatbelt all the other times? To which you would say, well, I don't know when I'm going to get in an accident. Ha ha. You do something in preparation for what could go down. You are planful and you buckle up just in case today's the day you get in your fourth accident. And then if you get where you're going and you didn't have an accident, well, then you just wear your seatbelt. Taking a disease-modifying therapy is a seatbelt against a future MS attack or a future MS spot. It's something that you prepare for. Let me give you another example. An MS disease-modifying therapy is like taking birth control. So if you have three children and you start taking oral birth control, you still have three children. They don't go away. That's already occurred. That's past tense. You're taking oral birth control to make sure that you don't have an unplanned event, an unplanned pregnancy. And I like to joke, if you're wondering why you're taking birth control, go hang out with your three kids. I'm just teasing. You may be taking birth control and not be in a relationship where you're having sex. And you're still taking birth control because you might find yourself in an occasion where sex is an option and you want to be protected. MS medicines are a birth control pill against a future event. And if you have burning in your hand, which is a residual from an old attack, and you take a MS disease modifying therapy, that doesn't go away. That damage has already occurred. This is a reminder as to why you're taking a disease modifying therapy. It's so that you don't develop burning in this hand. It's a birth control against a future event. In my mind, it's a non-negotiable if we are going to live our very best lives despite having MS. I am not suggesting for a minute that it's easy to take these medicines or that it's fun or that we should be excited about it. But I do want to impart upon you the critical importance of doing everything we know how to do to slow this disease down. There is a window of opportunity when these disease-modifying therapies work the best, and that's early on. And it's so sad to me when someone has opted to not be treated and they've accrued significant disability over the years, and they come to me with significant disability, and they say, now I'm ready to start real treatment. And a lot of times we try, but we're less successful in that situation. If we could channel you 25 years from now and bring you to the table and we could ask the future you what you want, I bet you that the future you would be very, very forceful in his or her language. I bet you they would say, listen, young me, I need you to do things now so that I'm not disabled. Taking a DMT is not easy. And I hope that this video has shared with you a little bit of the philosophy that I embody trying to help people understand why we have to think about the future. 
and I'd love to know your thoughts. Please leave your comments and your experiences in the section down below and share with the entire village your journey in deciding to take an MS medicine or not. My name is Aaron Boster and thank you for learning about MS with me. If you want to continue the learning, click the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next video or my next live stream or the next time I see you in clinic, be safe and take care.